We are Team 21549F, Gyro Fusion, and this is our STEM research project for 2019 and 2020 on robots and data in science. We brainstormed some ideas about how robots are used in scientific data collection, such as particle movement and nanobots, as well as chemical evaluation, space colonization, and even robotic scans. There are many aspects to robots in science, but we decided to choose space colonization as it's the topic with the least research applied in it, but the most potential to develop. We did some research into existing case studies, such as Marvin, MER, and two ExoMars missions, in order to gain a grasp on the field, and decided that we would research into this topic to produce a project that would serve as an asset in the future colonization of Mars. First of all, we decided that due to Mars's uninhabitable state, we would design a sustainably powered robot which we would send to Mars. In order to get some more information about relevant fields to this topic, such as atmosphere and geology, we got into contact with Dr. Timothy Sands from the University of Hertfordshire. He is a renowned geologist and we asked him a few questions that were relevant to our topic. We decided on incorporating a NGMIS, a micro ARES, and some basic MET sensors and spectrometers on our robot itself in order to assist in its function. These sensors allow the robot to analyze any potential poisonous gases, any harmful radiation, and water, moisture, and pressure in the geology in order to designate where the colony would be terraformed and built. We then proceeded to make a computer-aided design, or CAD, model of our robot concept. This encompasses all of our research in this project, including sustainable electricity, robot sensors, and existing missions into Mars. As well as this, we independently 3D modelled our power supply which works on thermoelectrics. This is useful as well because it gives us a more detailed idea into how the power supply works and an easier way to convey it to the future colonists. This is a method of converting thermal energy difference into electrical voltage with physical principles. But we wanted to research in human colonists, not robotic colonists. And therefore we decided to incorporate a digital resource in the form of an app for use by humans as part of our project. We call this app Mars Welfare. It uses a simple questionnaire system to generate numerical values which are cross-referenced with existing data for other common symptoms developed in space. This app is meant to be used by colonists who would be untrained humans in order to stay healthy away from Earth and will be of massive assistance to them. Our custom-made app involves an easy-to-navigate quiz that judges your health in space. The quiz asks about headaches, gastrointestinal issues, breathing issues, physical weakness, and heartburn. At the end, the system compiles your results in a radar chart and compares this against common issues in space. It can also explain your health issue according to your results. The app overall can accurately explain your health to you and track any issues in inhabitants over time. 